the president enters the ornate House chamber with handshakes and hugs for members of Congress. He aims his appeal beyond this room to the 30 million Americans watching at home. Let's make this a year of action. And as he had signaled, Mr. Obama said he would act to reverse the growing gap between the wealthy and those at the bottom of America's pay scale, raising the minimum wage of some connected to government and urging Congress to raise the pay of all at minimum wages. This will help families. It'll give businesses customers with more money to spend. And the president turned to the efforts to create a pathway to citizenship for some who are in the country illegally and reform the U.S. immigration system. Independent economists say immigration reform will grow our economy and shrink our deficits by almost $1 trillion in the next two decades. Turning his attention overseas. From Tunisia to Burma, we're supporting those who are willing to do the hard work of building democracy. Across Africa, we're bringing together businesses and governments to double access to electricity and help end extreme poverty. Mr. Obama expressed support for those not affiliated with terrorist networks. While well, we've put al-Qaeda's core leadership on a path to defeat, the threat has evolved as al-Qaeda affiliates and other extremists take root in different parts of the world. In Yemen, Somalia, Iraq, Mali, we have to keep working with partners to disrupt and disable those networks. He pointed to diplomatic efforts to eliminate chemical weapons in Syria and to negotiations to keep Iran from building a nuclear bomb. From here, the president begins a two-day four-state tour to promote his initiatives. In Washington, Carolyn Prasuti, VOA News. Thanks, Caroline, for that report. Now, for more on last night's speech, I am joined by my colleague, Jim Malone, Voice of America's national correspondent, who joins us from the U.S. Capitol here. Good afternoon, uh, James. Hello, Brother Shaka. How are you? I am hugely terrific. Uh, you obviously... Uh, you know, for the speech last night, uh, how impressed were you or what sort of impressions did you get really? Well, you know, the country is in kind of a down mood in a sense. President Obama had his most difficult year of his presidency last year. The public approval ratings reflect that. And yet the economic indicators in our country are somewhat improving. Jobs, housing, economic growth. It's not reflected in the terms of credit for the president in the polls. But despite all that, the president seemed remarkably upbeat and optimistic. But I can tell you, as we just heard in the piece by Carolyn, the, the key decision here to, on occasion, bypass Congress, if he has to, that's going to have real political ramifications here in Washington and has the potential to sort of spark a backlash from the Republicans and, in the end, to, to plunge the relationship between the two parties and the president in Congress into an even deeper trough than it was last year. 